Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris with Digital Rim. And in this video, we're gonna show you how we utilize Canva Brand Kit to increase efficiency while maintaining consistency and how you can do the same. So with that being said, we're just gonna hop right into it. Let's go. All right, so when you first get to Canva, you're gonna notice a, 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 a menu on the side and it's gonna have your brand. Where it says brand, you're gonna go ahead and click it. And then you see here, it says Brand Kit. You're gonna select that brand kit and usually it will say like create new brand kit or something like that like it would do create brand template here. We're gonna have brand kit so we're gonna create a brand kit. We have one here that we kind of started just to get started. I'm gonna delete this color. So if you have any logos for your brand make sure you drag your logos in here. So we're gonna drag our logos in here right. We're gonna drag some of our logos in here. Now, if you if you got your brand brand style guide created by Digital Rim, you know the, that we highly urge you to do various different types of logos for your brand, right? So you would have all of the different options of your logos. So you can you'll be able to see in a second as soon as I get there all of the different types of options that you should have in regards to your logo. And definitely. Uh, PNG, PNG versions that has the transparency. Very, very important. So we're gonna have our primary logo. Of our alternate logos. We're gonna have our mask logos. And that's it. That's good to go. And those are all PNGs. So make sure you make sure you drop PNGs because again, the PNGs will give you that transparency that you need for your design. You can always put your your logo on white, black, whatever if you need to. So make sure you have PNGs and that'll be good to go. Rates. Let me see if we have anything else. I think that's good. Um, all right, so now we want to go down to our colors, right? Now, inside of our style guide, hold on, give me a second. Media production, ba 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 boom. Brand. I'm gonna show you our style guide. Inside of our style guide, we have our we have our brand colors assigned, and all I'm gonna simply do is copy and paste the hex code from our style guide. And the hex code is essentially like a, if you want to call it a serial number or whatever you want to call it for the color value that you would have for your brand. So again, we have our we have our our. hex code for our primary right here so we're just going to copy and paste that add new color drop that hex code right there copy there we go that one and do the same for the other one. So we have our secondary colors. Boom. Boom. Add new color. Boom. Boom. We have our neutrals. And if it if it keeps us from Let 
doing our neutrals, then we will just enter more secondaries. But it looks like it's going to be good. I'm going to just pull this over here so I don't have to keep clicking back out of it. I just want to kind of show y'all what this how to pull the hex code from style guide. Boom. Like so. So these are all our colors in our color palette. It's very, very important for you to have color, a color palette for your actual brand. Very, very, very important. Now, we can go, if, if, if you want to learn more about how to establish a color palette, make sure you, uh, make sure you drop, drop a one in the chat if you want to learn how to create a color palette. We actually covered that in the actual lesson in the Creator Academy, so we're going to continue on. So, that being said, we're going to put our fonts into the actual, uh, this actual, this area. So, the title... I don't know if this our font will be on here, but we'll try to see. Our font isn't on here, so what we're gonna do is just try to find something similar, right? And I remember I, I was I was liking one. Like League Spartan or something like that. Let me make sure. Actually, that's just I can change it later on if it's not right. So you just want to do it for all of the all of the. Let me just go down the list to make sure it's this the one. I'll probably remember. I think it's Spartan though. Or Archivo Black. Yeah, I think it was Spartan. League Spartan. So we're just going to continue with the League Spartan. We're just going to put that in all of them. League Spartan. And what's, what's happening is, as you see, the different weights. So your title is going to be bigger, your subtitle, your heading, so on and so forth. They're different. So let's, say, let's just look at this one for a second. We have our the type of the font family. We have the section header. That's what this this is essentially called. And then the weight of the or the size of the font is 20 here. So in comparison to like if we do the same thing, we move this league Spartan. This is the body. This is at 16. The smaller the number, the smaller the font. Boom. All right. So now your fonts, your colors, your fonts, your colors, and all of your logos are inside of your brand kit. Right? If you have photos, you want to insert those photos as well. We're not going to insert photos right now, but this uh, this will be a place like if you have if you have headshots, if you have um 
you know, the, some of the PNG images that we out, actually also do. If you have those, those will be where you insert those. If you have graphics, you want to insert these as well. So graphics can be, you know, your overlays, icons, things like that. Again, these are elements that we can build out later or we can use net, we can do now. Icons as well, like you can, be, you can have a library of these that are already inserted and already ready. Are they necessary? Would I say they're necessary? Because the beautiful thing about Canva, it comes in with, it has a lot of different elements inside of Canva already. So you can build out from the elements with inside of Canva. So you can pretty much just build from Canva. So main things that you definitely need are the colors, your logo, and the font. If you assign the font, your colors, and your logo, you're pretty much good to go because you can base, you can now build from any template based off of those things. But if you ever want to come back and actually add photos, graphics, icons, you can do that as well. Um, just depending on what you want to do. But for the purpose of for the purpose of what I'm speaking on, on if you're a brand owner or you're just using Canva to get a quick mock-up for a social media post or things like that super super easy uh, to just insert these elements and you can build from here right so let's go back so now you can see it's populated our brain kit let's see if we could change that what's the order right can we change the order looks like we can't change the order so it's gonna be what it is I would like for the main image to be this one but that's fine right if you are watching this and you're doing this for the first time now you you can probably keep that in mind wait till your wait till your to the end to upload your primary image and then you'll have the a nice logo here for the for your icon right so let's say now why this is important so let's say now we want to do a social media post on let's do an Instagram square post right we want we want to do an Instagram square square post right now so we're just gonna go grab some random post right we're gonna grab something random 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 that might fit our style Let's say a sale. Boom. We have a sale coming up. Right? Boom. Instead of instead of having to go in and change every individual element, now what we can do is go in to the brand, hit the color palette, and just shuffle. We're gonna shuffle it until we got get to the color we like. And it's it's really just gonna shuffle all of our different brand colors to fit the design right so again look how quickly you can do this now you already have your colors assigned I like this one you already have your colors assigned and I I like this one this is again like a Halloween like you're doing a Halloween this is the color palette for a Halloween sale right here boom right that quick that simple if you need to put your logo in you definitely need to put your logo in and for a design like this this is the perfect time to put the logo. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. See all logos. This is the perfect time either you could use the black logo to kind of continue to continue the theme of the, you know the color theme here. You could find somewhere to put it. I don't feel I don't feel like the the primary logo would give to it as much. Again, the black logo, I would do something like this. I would make this real big. I'm just I'm just spitballing right now. Make this real big. Let's see if we turn opacity down, put and that's essentially pushing it to the back. Boom. So now it's like a texture behind, right? Something like that. Like now you've branded, you've essentially branded that graphic. And let's say you're like, oh, I like it, but I, I want to change the colors. Now I like where we're going. 
but I want to change the colors. Now we're going into spring or we're going into wherever. Essentially, you're able to do that with any design. Any design is going to take all of the color elements and tie your brand colors into it. So that being said, that's why it's very, very important to learn how to do the brand, uh, the brand elements for your actual, um, for your actual Canva design. So boom, there it is. You got to see exactly how to insert your brand elements into Canva so you can create designs a lot faster than before. So with that being said, hopefully you found value in this. Hopefully this inspires you to either like the video, subscribe if you're on YouTube. But if you're in the Creator Academy, hopefully this inspires you to start to create some content so you can have your social media posts so you can get your brand out there so people can become more aware of your brand and so you can get more, more sales, more likes, more clicks, more views, more whatever you're trying to get to let people know what you do so with that being said hopefully this was valuable to you for the new the new designer the new canva the the canva warrior the person who's in canva they're like hey, i just started canva but i don't know exactly what i'm doing what you want to do in the beginning stages make sure you set up that brand that brand uh brand kit set up that brand kit where you can have all your different brand elements ready for any design that you do so again you can start to pick templates and then insert your brand elements into the template that you decide. So again, you can pick from what you like, then add the consistency to your brand by having the colors and the logos and the, and the, and the text in the text. So all of the stuff is going to actually match your actual brand. So that being said, again, hopefully this inspires you to do that one thing that takes you closer goals. Like I always say, do that one thing. With that being said, all y'all have a blessed day. Lady y'all, peace.